Good evening and welcome back to Deadwood Casting and Turning. Um, today I wanted to shoot out a little short video. Um, I'm unboxing a new tool, a bowl gouge that I just got. Um, for those of you that live in Florida, y'all know what the weather's like this time of year in the afternoon. And I just haven't had a chance to get in my shop. My shop is a, a basically a lean-to with no walls. So safely I couldn't get in there and do any kind of wood, wood turning. And if y'all can see out this window right here beside me, y'all can see how just gnarly it is outside right now. Um, there's, a, there's a lull in the storm right now, so it's not whipping and blowing like it was um, a few minutes ago. But um, anyway, it's still not good for me to get out there. Um, so today I'm just going to talk a little bit about my shop and my tools and stuff like that. Um, you know, this, this biggest thing I want to get to y'all is that this is a beginner's channel, you know, and you can work with what you have. I've done it. I've only been turning about eight months. You know, I've just bought my tools and what I need here and there. Um, my first set of tools which are these right here I got off of Wish. And any of y'all that have ever, has or ever ordered from Wish kind of know um, it's a 50-50 shot. And you know, as you can see the way some of these are bent, um, it was a good learning experience. My next set of tools came from Harbor Freight. This is, um, I got this for about 60, $60, $70, and this is the set that I wish I had went ahead and bought first. Um, it's got ma the majority of what I'm going to be using. It's got two roughing gouges, two skewers, um, a couple scrapers, um, a spindle gouge, um, which this is what I was trying to use as a bowl gouge to hollow stuff out that didn't really work too well. Um, there were several projects that um, learned to fly while I was using this. Um, I was just glad I wasn't standing, you know, beside them when they shot off. Um, so the tool I'm actually going to be um, unboxing today, I'm really excited about because, you know, it's um, my first, you know, real tool. Um, as far as you know I'm, I think of it and this is a three-quarter inch bowl gouge um, I hope I say this right um, and it's made by Emotec um, I got this from one of the channels that I watch Kim Tippin wood turning um, and this is one of the links that she had on her page and um, I'll be sure to share her her channel either up here in the corner Again, if I can figure out how to do it, or it's definitely going to be below in the um, description. Um, so I'm really stoked to to uh, to get this, and hopefully the weather will let out some this weekend, and I can get out there and I can do some turning uh, with some projects. Um, so mainly this this channel's like I said before, it's 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 to get across to the beginners that you can start without the big expensive shop, the big expensive tools. Um, and just do like I do. I work full time, you know, I pay my bills on payday Friday, and if I have something left, then I, then I get a tool. Um, if I don't, then I make do with what I got. And, you know, just looking at this table, this is some of, the, some of my projects that I've done, you know. I have some glue up projects with um, pen blanks and resin. Um, this was my first attempt at a Harry Potter wand that we'll probably be fixing um, and then this is um if you look at my Instagram page you can see this before I actually uh, you know hollowed it out and turned it off um, and this is uh, this is funny for you um, Iron Man fans you might get the reference but this was my drinking vessel prototype mark one you know basically it's my cup version one uh, but we'll be fixing this as well, you know, straightening it up, fixing the fixing the center, hollowing it out, you know, basically, you know, making it, you know, drinkable, usable. Um, you know, there's a couple other blue up projects. You know, this is the front cover to a book that I was doing that we'll probably finish that on camera too at some point. 
Um, you know, you have, you know, of course, everybody has to do the colored pencil thing at least once. Um, you know, and this is eventually going to be like a round table, a little side table for the couch. Um, and that back there is a piece of cedar that I'm um, not sure, quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, you know, and of course, I've got all the seashells for, you know, that I'll probably turn into paperweights or pendants or something like that. But um, that's all for today. Hopefully before the weekend's done, we get to spin some wood and y'all get to see, you know, me actually turn something on the lathe. And until the next video, I'll see you then.